am Joy and welcome to my studio. A lot of you know that I work with the Dr. P.H. Martin inks. They're permanent inks. They're India ink and I really like these so I'm going to show you how I use these today and they come in a bunch of little ones in the color of a pack and I don't remember if there's 12, 14, or 16 in the pack, but those are a really nice variety pack to start out with until you get used to them and decide what you like. And then they do have bigger individual ones if you have one color that you like. So I'm going to start with my orange, and I use them just like I use my other, like the leather dyes or anything like that. I like to rub them on. Now this is a darker gore that I'm demoing on today so it's not going to show up quite as bright as another one. So maybe I'll reach over and grab another one as well. I went ahead and grabbed a lighter piece just so you can see the, the difference here. And I put two or three coats on but what is really really nice is it starts to get this really great shine that you normally wouldn't get unless you varnish. I love the yellow. Let's do a yellow here so you can see how fun this is. And I'm just using cotton rounds that you find up in the makeup section of the store. And I just usually pick mine up from the... I've used up all my yellow. <laughs> well, that was fun. Let's do a, this is tangerine. So I need to buy me a big thing of yellow. And what I'm doing is allowing the other one to dry. And I want to show you a red here too. I believe this one is crimson. So I can put a couple of layers on for these guys. There is our crimson. Okay, so you can see how rich that is. So I'm going to go back to my first one and I'm going to do a second coat. Now see how much brighter that's really starting to get now. And let's put a, another coat on our tangerine. And then I want to show you something else I really like to do with my uh, or my um, inks. I will use a darker color. I'm going to use the aqua. And I will come over a part. If I wanted a blue, I might base coat it first with my blue acrylic paint. And so now that I've base coated it with that, I may bring my alcohol inks and I'm folding it in half and just pulling it down on that. And look at that wonderful, wonderful color that you get. And I do that about halfway on my gourd. But that really brings out the color and just shows that off so much more. So I use that method a lot for combining the two and how really great that looks. So I'm going to go back to our first one and put another layer on him. And my tangerine color. And my crimson color. I really like the yellows and the oranges in this and I do really like the blues when I use them with the acrylic paint so that they have that blue and not the yellow to them. So there's just some different methods that you can use to color your gourds and like I said I really like the it gets so shiny um, when you apply the different layers on it so it's a, a lot of fun. So just take that information, apply it to what you're working with. I'd love to see what you came up with. You can email me at art at miriamjoy.com. 
come on over to our YouTube site and see more of these fun videos that we're doing for you. Thank you. God bless.